sir. It's easy. Oh, hell no. Hey, excuse me. Yo, he's arrested over there. Dang. Oh, man. Yo, is he okay? Oh, ambulance. Okay, okay, okay. Man, I got oh, a question for you really quick. I'm not gonna do social media, man. No, no social media? Alright, sounds good. She dumb drunk. She? She's yeah. Drunk. She's not gonna respond. Well, that's, that's gonna be crazy. They just go say a quick prayer for her, even though she's drunk out of it. He's blessing. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have a question for you. Are you okay? Good. Can we can we just pray a blessing over you real quick? Amen. She's on her head. Yep. Father God, thank you for this soul right here. I pray you uh, bless her. Send angels around her and let her be um, just walking in freedom. Let her remember this moment. Even uh, when she wakes up, let there be no hangover. Peace. And she'll just remember this moment right here and uh, just lead, lead a life full of love. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to let you know that Jesus loves you, all right? Yo, yo, I got a question for you. Man. What's up? Where, where do you think we go when we pass away? Pass away? Yep. Fucking heaven. Heaven? Heaven? What, how do you know you're going to heaven? Like, what makes you know you're going to heaven? Jesus. Jesus. What about him? He's the goat. Yeah, what if we were dying right now? What would you say? Like, if we were like, bro, we want to go with Jesus too. What would you say? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, not to like make y'all feel bad, but I, I, I'm a cancer kid. Okay, amen. So I was in the hospital for like a month, not not a month, like a year. Yeah. And you know, I was going through it, but that's what got me through it. Jesus. Hell yeah. Okay. Of and course. What, what, what was his, like his presence? Or it was just like your faith? I, I would pray every night in the hospital. Okay. Just, just get me through this. Mm. And now I'm here better than ever. You did it. I had brain cancer. They told me I was going to die. Wow. And now wow. I'm here. So what do you think God wants you here for? My presence. My presence. Yeah. Because like he gives us gifts and it's usually not for us, right? It's exactly. for other people. Exactly. So what do you think you're here for, bro? What am I here for? Yeah. I want to be that guy, but I got a good soul. Okay. I'm not a dick to anyone. Okay. Good karma is my thing. Good karma is my thing. Karma, what's that? Like good karma, you know, bad karma, like you talk shit to someone, you're like, it's gonna bite you in the ass. Yeah. I'm good karma. Okay. Like the other night, there was a cancer research. I donated to it. Cool. Good karma, good karma, right? Okay. Where do you get the idea of karma from though? Because in the Bible, it kind of like refers to it as like, what you reap, you will sow, yeah? So how much of like, Cause you know Jesus, right? Yeah, That's beautiful. Yeah. But how much do you like really spend quality time with him to where I like- I used to go to church all the time. Yeah. But I didn't go because I was in the hospital. Okay. But like throughout that, I had a psych psychiatrist and she was talking to me about it. And you know, through the hospital, you can't be negative about anything. You yeah. gotta be positive about it. And at that, that night praying, even with my nurses, my nurses are there for me. We yeah. always pray every night. Beautiful. And he was there for me every night. Amen. And now I'm here. Amen. So, so how would you say your intimacy is with him after that? Like, Great. Yeah. Top level. You talk to him like every night consistently. Hell yeah, of course, obviously. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. He got me through everything. Amen. And and Amen. so and so like when we look at the Bible and and we recognize what faith is. How should our life look like with our faith? Like, what should our life look like? Don't I know you said you donated to charity. That's yeah. that's awesome. Don't what else? take anything for granted. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. Be yourself. Okay. Just do your thing. Amen. And, and do you know like the gospel of like how we're saved? I don't. You don't? I don't. Amen. Okay. Well, that's why we're here, because it's it's a beautiful thing. It's called the good news, right? Yeah. So the good news is the wages of sin is death. So we all sinned, right? Yeah. We all deserve death. And like when you were in the hospital, they would take your blood and test your blood, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's because blood equals life. So when they test your blood, they're able to figure out your life. Exactly. And how you're progressing. Exactly. Because it's a spiritual law. So what they would do in the Old Testament is sacrifice animals to get their blood to cover sin. Since really? blood equals life and the wages of sin is death. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course. So then Jesus, since he never sinned, he uh, was able to lay down his life. And since he's not guilty, he's able to pay your fine. All the sin you've accumulated in your life was paid. 
by him because he never committed any of the crimes. Like if you go to court, yeah. someone bails you out, they have to be not guilty to yeah. pay your fine because they got their own bail to worry about, you know? Exactly, yeah. So since he never sinned, you're able to have that freedom and you have, you have healing, you have just authority over demons and, and you're able to live a set free life away from the world and in his presence. You know what I mean by like yeah. away from the world? Yeah. What, what do you think I mean by like away from the world? Away from the world. When I think of that, I'm like thinking of my own thing. Like I'm doing my own thing. Like okay. I don't care what anyone else says. I'm doing my own thing. That's good. The, the other night, I'm walking on the street. Some random guy goes, "Get out of my way, you chemo fuck." Dang. And I was like, "All right, you don't know who I am. You don't know what I've been through." Yeah. Like that. That's deep to me. Like, right. Are you just gonna say that to someone? Mm -hmm. Like, no. He he he's going through a lot of rejection. Exactly. He's going through a lot of battle. That's what and I said to my friends. I was like, so he needs Jesus too. Exactly. So that's why we're everyone able, does. Yeah. Everyone does. That's why we're able to receive that and just pray for that person. God bless him. God, I hope you just exactly. you comfort him. God bless y'all, bro. I'm Amen. glad I met y'all. I'm glad I met y'all. What are y'all on? We're on TikTok, YouTube. What's the name? What's the name? KP Serves and uh, Lovato. Lovato. AP yeah. serves. Yeah. I'm sure I can find yours off of this. Yep. Yeah. And, and you said Lovato or? Yep. Yep. You, mm -hmm. you got it right the first time. Lovato. Yeah. Lovato. Yep. L A V A A D O. All right. What would I you say you. you need freedom from in your life right now? If freedom you need freedom from, from my anything. Life right now. Is it alcohol? Is it like a lust? Anything like that? I don't want to say I'm an alcoholic. But like, okay. I'm trying to have those good times with my buddies, but like. Yeah. After cancer, it's like, right. should I be doing this or like not? Yeah. So, yeah. so how about this? Let's renounce alcohol because alcohol it doesn't have anything for you. No. And, but the what you need is the new wine, which is the Holy Spirit. Hell yeah. So it's like the Holy Spirit will give you all the fulfillment you need. So let let you want to renounce alcohol with us, and we can pray that any spirit attaches to you I'm now, comes yeah. out, and yeah. any any spirit of death. That, that cancer never comes back. Let's do it. Amen. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do pray. It. So say say this. Say I renounce. I renounce all alcohol. All alcohol. I renounce. I renounce all death. All death. Get out of me now. Get out of me now. I belong to the Lord. I belong to the Lord. All right, I'm gonna pray for you real quick. And what's your name again? Carson. Carson. Heavenly Father, thank you for Carson. I want to pray against any evil spirit that might uh, be attaching um, to this brother's life right here. You have no assignment. Your assignment is canceled over my brother right here. I break you in the name of Jesus Christ. Come off of Carson right now. I command you in the name of Yeshua to leave his body right now. Any unclean spirit of death, the cancer will not come back. He will live a prosperous life full of love and he will reflect your love, Father, to your children. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, bro. Hey, can I get a hug real quick? Yeah, for sure. Y'all a sure. dog, bro. That made my hey. fucking night. Amen. You guys made my night. Bro. God bless you, man. That shit was great. Amen, bro. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Um, try, to, try to DM me. KP serves. Find my Instagram. I'll I want to send now. you I'll some resources. So okay, cool. Man, got, there's going to be a shift in your life, bro. A real big shift. I appreciate that, bro. Because because God is setting like God is setting everyone apart right now. Like there's not going to be no one foot in, one foot out. Like it's either you're with God or you're not. Exactly. And he's right. making that divide very, very um, evident Dude, nowadays. Y'all made my night. Amen, bro. That's a sign. That's a sign. Amen. It is. I believe it. I'm, I I'm excited for you. I'm really excited my, for my your life. I, I wish they were here, bro. Because they've been praying for moments like this, I bet. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They yeah. had to be there in the hospital with me. So. Yeah. But, Amen. He brought you back for a reason. Exactly. A reason, bro. Exactly. It, it called wasn't to win cheap, souls. but they did everything for me they could. Yeah. All right. Amen. Hey. Great I to meet you, brother. Yeah. Keep in touch, actually. Keep in touch. I will. DM me. Have a good night. Have a good Alcohol doesn't have anything for you guys. It's the blood of Jesus. You need that new wine. Okay. Hey, God bless you guys. Start a conversation? What's up? How we start conversation? Oh, you're asking how we do it? Yeah. So, I was about to do it, but all I asked was, hey, are you okay? And they said yes, that was it. We just, we just be like, hey, random question, where do you think we go when we pass away? Or, hey, random question, can I be praying for you at all? Something like that. It takes practice. Just yeah. keep doing it. Like, do it everywhere, though. Like, anywhere you go. 
Because when we first came out, bro, I was trying to evangelize to this female, bro, and I did not know what to say. She was like, I believe that uh, we are the gods of our life, and I did not know where to go. I was yeah. just like, so you don't want to believe in Jesus? She's like, no, I, we got gods. And I'm like, well, okay, but Jesus loves you. And it was just bad. It was just, it was just bad. I was like, dang, this is hard. Yeah. But then it just got easy. And the Bible, and the Bible says, somewhere in the Bible says, don't worry about what you will say when God sends you. Just the Holy Spirit will guide you. And um, I remember one time I did a sermon, and when I did this sermon, half of the sermon wasn't even written that I said. And I re and then I found that scripture afterwards, and that's when I realized that um, the Holy Spirit does guide you when you go out. So when you start the conversation, just like, just let it be God. Like say, God use me, and like, yeah. don't worry about how you feel. If you feel scared, just flow. Like it might feel awkward, it might feel weird, but just flow. Yeah. And it'll just start going. Like. And then you'll start to relate and before you know it everybody you go to easy like you can just tell what they're going through give your story tell them how god saved you and how he can save them and how he loves them prayer boom you want to be in a video come here that for i heard that i supernaturally heard that somebody said they want to be in one come here Dang, they're like holding her back. Yes. That's Which crazy. One? The the girl. Who would do him right here? Right here. Excuse, no, uh, excuse me. Which one? In the in the in the black. Yeah, she wanted to be in the video, right? Come here. Come here. What's your name, bro? Wow. CJ. CJ, what's your name? Maria. Maria, nice let me meet you. You say you wanted to be in a video? It depends, because if it is a question that deep, I just kind of... It's just like, know. where do you think we go when we pass away? Like, what happens when we die? Is I that too deep? I don't know. You don't know? I just don't know. You guys ever think about it? I do. I do. Yeah? I'm a real big into conspiracies and whatnot. Oh, wow. But you can do it then. No, no, you can do it too. <laughs> you don't want to so, win the video. But I, I just don't believe in anything. I just think you die and you die. But did you grow up that way? I just don't believe in anything. I don't know. Where are you from? Spain. Spain? And you moved here? Like, kind of. I'm studying here. I moved here and I see Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And so, like, what are we doing here? Like, we know when we die, we can't take, like, any of this stuff with us, right? So, like, what do you think the purpose of all this is? Live your life, then to just—I—I I don't know. Like your body dies, probably your soul not. But uh -huh. I just don't think you go to another place or you just stay. I just—I just don't yeah. think that we feel anything. Okay. It's just energy, but do yeah. you feel anything? So. so, so we both used to be atheists actually, and then we had uh, real encounters with Jesus. You guys heard of Jesus? Mm -hmm. So. He touched us in a way where we were like, we were shaking, we couldn't stand up, and we were like scared, because I'm like, I was making fun of God. Like I was actually trying to tell people God's not real. And when he encountered us, we, we learned the good news, the gospel, which is about his love and what he did for us. And have you ever heard it before at all? Because you, I don't, I don't know if you grew up that way at all. Did you ever hear it? I mean, in Spain, people is Catholic, but I just don't believe so. Oh, really? So, so what he did is he laid down his life because he never sinned. And you know what sin is? So, so sin is when you go against God. And Jesus never went against God because he is God in, in the flesh. So he laid down his life and he was able to bleed and die on the cross for your sins because blood equals life. And it's the power of God. There's something about you that God highlighted. And it's, it's crazy how you were like, I want to be in it. Because you didn't even say it that loud, but like supernaturally I feel like I heard it. And I feel like God has a strong calling for you, and I just want to leave you with that, that seed. So do you think there was like a good seed that planted in your heart today that maybe God is real and He's calling you to something? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Okay, well, amen. Good to meet you, Maria. Yeah, nice to meet you. All right, good to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. What's your name? KP. KP? Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, bro. All right, good to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. Lovado. Lovado? Lovado. Nice to meet you, bro. You too, brother. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Yeah. CJ. CJ? Nice to meet you, man. Have a good night.